but the rheumatologists are dwelling on I don't want to give you future damage so I want to put the fire out today and I want you to feel better today and they're usually correlated what we do they're 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 in, in sync but in the long term if you have uncontrolled sustained inflammation even if it's low grade in some people it increases heart attacks so the blood vessels stop working right uh, we get dysfunction of the lining in the blood cells so that's called endothelial dysfunction and we have important lining like our heart arteries coronary arteries there's also a slightly higher mortality having rheumatoid arthritis and if you have longer and deeper remission deeper meaning it really is truly zero swollen joints as opposed to low-grade disease activity there's a dose response uncontrolled inflammation more uh, heart attacks earlier mortality so less survival a remission better survival less cardiovascular events less strokes which are really a later event strokes are more common in older people heart attacks and middle age to older people in general there's other things though uncontrolled inflammation if you have a joint that keeps swelling up even if it's not swollen every day but it swells say three months a year and you're using that joint say your knee or your shoulder or your wrist you have a higher chance of needing a joint replacement or joint surgery or scraping out that lining because it's causing damage so local damage and damage that's dis distant from it like heart disease so uncontrolled inflammation of any chronic autoimmune inflammatory condition isn't good for your body overall that doesn't mean that you're going to get all these complications but we want to reduce them and one other thing is there's more high blood pressure more diabetes more people overweight and more um, central uh, obesity like a big wide waist compared to someone without rheumatoid arthritis <laughs>